Hello everybody and welcome to Ugly Dog Lures. That's a place to be. So today, we're going into a whole different world. We're going into the world of inks. So these are Dr. Martin's. And this is called Grass Green. It's an Indian ink. Uh, I've never ever painted with inks. Uh, Brandon Weatherford and uh, Mr. Fred, they, they talked me into trying this. And uh, I got me a USB airbrush the other day. This is going to work okay, I guess. I don't know. We're going to try it. It's just going to be for inks only. Uh, with the inks, you want to spray it very low pressure. So, and this is only pumps up to eight pounds. And that's kind of why I wanted to use it use that so we're going to start off big we're going to start off with a chrome s crank and we're just going to see what we can what we can come up with like i said this is my first time to mess with inks but i'm going to give her a shot and see what happens melissa you better be nice i didn't do nothing yet i'm gonna tell brandon they clean up easy. They're not supposed to clog your gun. So we'll find out, won't we? So. Uh oh. I turned it on. It does not spray me with it. We're going to see what happens here. We got this chrome S crank. It looks like it's spraying pretty good. Yeah. Very little pressure on it. And we're just going to see what we can come up with here. And I'm supposing that you probably dry this the same way you dry paints. I'm learning as I go, so if I mess up, y'all can all laugh at me. I don't care. Cool, thanks. Oh wait, I do that anyway. You wanna go fishing? Mm -mm. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna really like these. I think I'm gonna like the little air gun. I love the little air gun, man. That dude, it don't have, it's got an 0.5 needle in it. So it's gonna be a detail brush anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think this is just gonna be a fun time. So we're just going to see what we can come up with here, and we're all going to learn inks together. I think they're pretty simple. I'm sure they're more simple than candies. Got to put the activator in. You got to do this. You got to do that. I, no thank you. Well, I kind of like these chrome baits. I've been painting more and more and more and more of them here lately. They're so, sharp looking. They are pretty. I hope that's dry. I really don't have a clue at this point. So Rip it off like a band-aid. Hey. Find out. You need to learn how to be nice to people. I have never, and ever claimed to be nice. Ever. Oh no, it doesn't come off? Yeah, it comes off, honey. That's pretty not bad looking bait, but we're not near through with it yet, so that's just the first coats. Okay. On this bait, we're going to leave this chrome. We're going to hit the top half with the blue ink. Don't touch it in case it's not dry. It's dry. I don't think it likes that kind of stencil very well is what I think. So as far as I know, you clean this brush the same as you would clean. You see how a little bit of that that used? One dropper would have been plenty. So yeah, we're just going to play with these inks and see what we can figure out. So let's clean this little brush out. And if it goes amiss, I'm going to blame Melissa. 
Whatever you do, don't lose that charging cable. It's in the drawer. It's in my drawer, girl. <laughs> it is a very strange charging cable, and it's not one that we can replace easily. Because if I can find another one, I'm going to go look for it. Like I said, we're just learning together, and I will improve as we go with this. I can promise you that. Sure. Yes. I will figure it out as I'm doing it. I'm doing what I stood up for 30 minutes ago now. You folks ever go to the damn kitchen and forget why you're in there? I do that a lot anymore. I came into the shop and forgot why I came in here. Well, I'm sure it wasn't to do nothing but harass your husband. Oh, that was it. So. Thank you for reminding me. I'm pretty sure that's why you came in here. Yep. So these are, while well, that's that and they good, let's just look at some of the chromes that we've got in here lately. So we got these Big old chrome swim baits in. That we're pressing on the paint. Hey, that's mine. Why are you showing mine? This will be painted on Tuesday's live. Mine, mine, mine. This is Melissa's. She's already put claim to it. Like she does everything. I put claim to it when I said, hey, order me one of those. Then she whined at me for spending money. So, well... So where's the, what's no, the no, lesser no. evil of that? No, no, no. Tell them why I whined. You whine all the time. Because you told me how much you ordered and it was almost double that. No, it was not. <laughs> Next order will be double that. <laughs> we got some big spooks. Those are crumbs. huge. And uh, I did not order these. He just sent them to me. I think you did order those. No, I look back at the order, and it's not on the order. Oops. So, I got Thanks, two of those. He's, he's trying to get me addicted to them. <laughs> and we got some S cranks, and I'm first going to order some 2.5s in chrome. So, most everything I'm going to paint with the inks will be probably chrome baits. So, this thing's full of glitter. Oh. You're going to sparkle like a unicorn. I don't care. I do. So. There's glitter everywhere. I know, that stuff oh is terrible. Oh my gosh. Then it's got these little wires here to the side. I hate those wires. I always pull those wires out. So I figured they would be helpful to like hold it up there and keep it stiff. Keep it rigid. <laughs> I cannot believe I just said that. <laughs> you crazy lady. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. She's crazy, folks. So. I just do that to get a lot of that glitter off. Because I really don't want it on my bait. So our next ink is uh, Dr. Mark P.H. Martin's and it's called Blue. Just Blue. Just Blue. Just Blue. Or is it Blue or Just Blue? Just Blue. Okay. About how much are those each? How uh, they are $5.49 a piece. That's not bad. Is what they cost. So once you tax them, around six bucks. And it looks like they're going to last for a long time. Last a long time. So I put eight drops in the cup on that airbrush. And we're going to take that. We're going to lay it up there and we're going to clip it.
Yeah, that's going to be pretty. Ooh. You got good ideals, Melissa. Yeah, that's on me. Mm -hmm. They believe that, too. No, they don't. Okay. The inks really, really make it stand out. It's hot in this joint. I think I'm really, really going to like these inks. I really, really do. I hope so. I've never ever painted with, never even thought about them until I was talking to Brandon and Fred about them and yeah, why not? Why not give it a shot? Huh, Melissa? Don't look at me. Why not? Because when we started painting with craft paints, we had to have every color in the rainbow. And then we started painting with Createx, and we had to have every color in the rainbow. Yeah. And then you, wow! And then we were painting with both of them and had to have thinner, and we had to have <laughs> another extra brushes, and we had to have extra compressor, and you know, it's addictive. So now. Now I'm going to have to go buy every color of ink. Mm -hmm. I see where this conversation's going, folks. <laughs> Good thing it's your birthday tomorrow. Yeah. No, it ain't. It isn't? No. When's your birthday? It's not a good thing that it's my birthday tomorrow. Then I'll be old like you. I'm not old like you yet. Yeah, I'm definitely a cougar. <laughs> or in my case, probably a Deaf leopard. You're definitely a deaf leopard. Yeah. That's my boat. Yeah, look at that, baby. That's nice. Oh, don't it's scratch okay. it. It's dry already. Don't scrub it. I like that ink. It's gonna be different, but you know what? Change it sometime is the best thing for you. I like the brush because now we can paint campsite without all the. Yep. You know, I went and bought him a generator so we could paint campsite. <laughs> Thank God you bought that generator. Yes, it is. That's in my story. You bought that generator so you keep your beer cool. I hadn't thought about that. I can keep my beer cool. Yeah. Huh. So, just that little bit. Three, four drops of that left in that. Isn't that something? Yeah. I'll probably never quit my Createx paints, but these are going to be so much fun to paint, paint with. These. Mm -hmm. So, that was awesome. Like I said, Brandon and Fred, Fred over Mad Monkeys and Brandon at Brandon Weatherford, they talked me into this. Actually, I mentioned it yesterday because I've been thinking about it, and then they both paint with with a lot of inks. So, why not? Why not? And it only cost Melissa sixty-three dollars today. Was that all? That's I it. expected it to be more. But that was with all the other stuff we got too. That wasn't just yeah. paint. Yeah, that yeah. was. I bought some more epoxy and mm -hmm. some sharpies and. Well, this will bought some brushes and she's going to do some rock painting videos. And while she's doing that, I am going to sit over there in that chair and I'm going to fling rubber bands across the room. 
I haven't even threatened you with a rubber band. It's going to look like a monkey's in here throwing stuff. See, already started. I kind of like the chrome, honey. Mm -hmm. So, that is. I'm gonna take three guesses without even unwrapping this. This is a bit of honey, ain't it? Uh huh. Yeah, she's addicted to bit of honey. Uh huh. And a bit of goose. No. No. Dang. That just hurts my feelers. It's what you get for having feelers. I know. Okay. Let's a let's a stick a water slide on the bottom of that. And let's. Put some eyes on and epoxy it and see what we what we got there, folks. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I actually filmed a video. I think we forgot how. I most usually go live, but I wanted to film this today. And then somebody calls and disturbs. But we will be doing more and more of these as time progresses. Ink paints or crumb paints or more of these what? More of the inks. You scare me when you say just more of these. Apparently I got candies coming too, maybe. Oh, it's what I ordered you for your birthday, but yeah, they that's haven't what got you here. Told me. Dumb things. So I bet it was a scam. I hope not. Well, he better hope not too, because I will drive down there. <laughs> I don't care. You know me better than that, Melissa. Yeah. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to get me a non-squeaky chair. These flies are just horrible today. That little brush, it's going to work great for, for doing that. Like I said, only eight pounds of pressure. I don't even know what brand of brush it is. Melissa can look in this box while I'm epoxying and tell you. That's the box that came in. It was given yeah. to me by one of our friends. Yes, Dave, if you're watching, thank you. Yep. Koskui Portable Airbrush. Koskui? Here, I'll put it up here. That's what it is. I don't know how good it is or how long it's going to last, but it's not going to get used as hard as my Iwata gets used. I can guarantee you that much. Guarantee it. Oh dear. Oh wow, it comes with a brush, a cleaning brush. Yeah, it has a cleaner in it, baby. Mm. One and one. Yeah, I think we're gonna put some green eyes up on this thing or some blue eyes. I don't know which. I think green will be fine. Being that this is a chrome bait, I will not be putting any glitter in it. It should pretty much shine all by itself. Here, Bob. If you're new to the channel, my name is Charlie. This is my wife, Melissa, and this is our fish, Bob. This is our fourth child. Fourth? Fourth, Jim Bob. Caitlin, Cody, and Bob. Everything around here is named Bob. Everything. That's because Melissa can't remember anybody's name. So really? Melissa. 
So we uh -huh. uh, yeah. we name everything Bob. I have nothing to do with that. Other than I let him have his way and call everything Bob. Well, there's nothing wrong with Bob. Hmm. Okay, let's get us some hooks out here to hang this. It is some kind of hot today here folks, we're up in the high 90s today. Well it doesn't help that I have to turn off the air conditioner because of the sound. Yeah. It's all right. It was nice and cool in here, but we're about to get through for the day anyway. We will. I got to go in and get a bunch of meat ready for the grill tomorrow and mm -hmm. do a bunch of stuff. So. That's what I'm going to be doing here in a little while. But I really, really wanted to try this. And failure or not, I wanted to bring y'all with me. And I don't think it's a failure. I think it's an all right looking little bait. Myself. I think so too. I'd fish it. do that with that BSI just so that I can come back over it and make sure we get a good smooth coat on it it's a beautiful bait it sure is it's gonna sparkle in the water for sure yeah it is so what do I think of inks I think I should have done this a long time ago in, you know, a redneck village far, far away. This redneck was painting baits, and he should have went to the dark side of inks. <laughs> so, Marcel, will you please? No, because I'll take pictures of it. Okay, well there it is. She's going to take pictures and it'll be in the thumbnail for this video. I don't know when this video will come out. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Maybe Tuesday? Maybe, no, Tuesday I'm alive. So, maybe we'll put it out tomorrow, just a, just a video. So, there she blows. Man, that's gorgeous. It sure is. Pretty pretty. Can't wait to do some red ones. Okay. You folks have a very blessed day. Uh, thank you for being here with us tonight. Please subscribe. Please hit subscribe and that notification bell. Uh, and please subscribe to our other channel, Campers in Common. That's Melissa's channel. So uh, everybody have a very blessed rest of your weekend or day, whichever this video comes out, I don't know. <laughs> so y'all have a very blessed one, and we'll catch you later. And tell Grace happy birthday. No, nothing happy about a 743rd birthday. <laughs>